Hello everyone and welcome to this Remit Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn data driven testing using the CSV file. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can do a data driven testing using an Excel file. Now let's see how we can do it using the CSV file. I have already created a CSV file. So let me show you that's inside my folder. And let me go to the folder here. So let me go to selenium we go here install selenium so inside this one i have this test data csv file and you will see that it's a comma separated file so let me open this one so it contains the username and passwords and we will be using again the same source demo for this example so let me go and open this website let me show you so let me copy the url so this is the url so let me copy this one from here and let's open this one into the browser so basically this is a demo source demo application and i have a couple of users from here so what we will do is that we will we will be utilizing that csv file and make it data driven okay so let me go to the pyjam here and now what i'll do is that i will create a new python file i will name it as csv data driven and the first thing is that we need to import a selenium web driver so from selenium we need to import web driver right and we will be using the csv library in order to work with or interact with the csv so import csv and the first thing is that we need to specify the path and this file is all already inside my folder right so let me show you so this is the file right this is already inside my folder so i can directly give a file name with the extension okay so so the path so i will name it as csv underscore file equals to name of the file with the extension so name of the file is test data dot csv let me select this one and now what we need to do is that we need to read a data from a csv file so here what we will do is that we will create a list first empty list so test underscore data equals to this so this is an empty list so if i over on this one so you will see that this is a empty list okay now what we'll do is that we'll open this csv so we'll be using this open method and here we need to pass this file because we need to open this file and then we need to open this in a read only mode and as a file okay and once we have this one what we'll need to do is that we will be creating a method object of the dix reader class so which will actually help us to read the data from the csv so reader equals to csv dot you see that we have this dix reader and we will be passing this file here because we are saying that this csv file is as a file so we will pass in the file here right and now once we have the file now as we have more than one record so what we will do is that we will be iterating so we need to loop this one so for so i will say row in reader and here so as soon as it will read what i need to do is that i need test because this is a list and it is empty right now because initially it's empty now what i will do is that i will you know loop in through the csv and append the data as i get so i will store in this particular list here so dot you see that we have a method called append and we need to append the row so every time it gets a row it will be appended in the list now let's print this one 
and see either it's working fine or not so let me print this one so test underscore data and let's run this one and see what happens so you see that this data is populated over here and it's successfully printed over here right so first username then password second username and password third username and password right so this means the data has been fetched properly from this one now what we need to do is that now we need to loop through the test data and perform the login so again because now we have uh, three records and i need to log in with the three different records so again i need to loop so for data in test underscore data and inside this i need a driver so driver is equals to web web driver dot chrome and once we have this one i will maximize this one driver dot maximize window and then driver dot get will open the url here and so basically it's the same url so I, let me copy it from here let me copy from here and paste it here now once uh, i have this one so what i'll do is that i will put some time dot sleep so that we can see how execution is working after opening the url so when the url is open now what i need to do is that i need to identify the fields so what instead of going here so let me copy this complete lines of code from here okay let me do this and paste it here because the fields are same so i don't need to worry about finding it again and again and here now what we need to do is that we need to pass this data okay and here simply it's an index based passing so instead of directly typing the username what i need to do is that data because i'm using data as a variable for this particular loop so data and index based so on the first index is the username right and let me copy this complete from here and paste it here and the password now once it will log in again it's waiting for five seconds now after this if you want to assert something you can assert if you want to verify something you can verify but here what i'll do is that i will simply quit the driver right and i think we are good to go with this execution here so let me simply run this one and see what happens so let's see so data so it's opening now it should provide the first username and password yes first username and password and it's logged in successfully now it will execute the second run because in csv we have three records for the username and password so this time it will be using the second user and finally you will be seeing the third user so the second addition went successfully here right and this is the third iteration and because this is a performance uh, glitch user so you will find some slowness in this one so let's see so this is a performance glitch user and now it will log into the application so basically that's how you can actually work with the csv before ending the session let me explain or summarize this code so basically we are importing the csv from python then we are importing this one simply i have a path for the csv file then i've created a empty list here i'm driver i'm opening this csv file in the read only mode as a file then i'm reading this file and looping it and appending the data into this particular list okay and once i have this data completed so i'm just opening the web driver maximizing the window opening the website and here we are just passing this data which we are getting in every iteration and again here we are using a loop because 
we have a three different set of data. So that's how you can use the CSV when you are doing the data driven testing. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.